Welcome back to my tiny kitchen. If you're a Biscoff fan, then you're in for a treat. Learn how to make this Biscoff babka, a rich and buttery yeast dough with generous folds of Biscoff spread marbled into it. It's almost impossible not to love. These are the ingredients for the babka dough. Remember the recipes in the description. To make the dough, add the dry ingredients into a large mixing bowl. A quick mix to distribute the dry ingredients. Then create a well in the center of the bowl before adding in the wet ingredients. Then mix together to form a shaggy dough. Then scrape out this dough onto a lightly floured surface and knead for about 5 minutes until smooth and elastic. What I love about this enriched dough recipe is that it's really forgiving. It doesn't need to pass the window pane test. When the 5 minutes are up, add the dough into a lightly oiled bowl, cover with cling film and leave to rise in a warm place for about 30 minutes. If it is a cool day, preheat your oven to the lowest temperature. Then, turn the oven off and place the bowl inside. This is a really quick way of proofing the dough. Once the dough is ready, roll out into a rectangle to about 12 by 18 inches. Then dollop on the Biscoff before gently spreading. Tightly roll the dough to form a large log. Then place the log seam side down and with a sharp knife cut in half. Place one half over the other to form an X, then fold over and under to create that signature twist. Once ready, place, or like in my case squeeze, into your prepared baking tin and leave in a warm place to rise for about 30 minutes. Then bake in a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for about 30 to 35 minutes. While the babka is baking, prepare the glaze. Add the sugar and water into a small saucepan, bring to the boil, then remove from the heat when the sugar has dissolved. When the babka is ready, generously brush the warm glaze onto the hot loaf. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Don't forget to check out some of these other videos for more baking inspiration. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.